Hi guys, it's Graham from Mowgli Adventures and today we're going to talk about the 400 watt solar panel kit from Renergy. As you know, I've been given a load of kit. I am going to install this kit later on and this makes more videos. So please make sure you subscribe because I've reviewed this and I will review other products for you and for me and I will install them later and so you can follow along. So this 400 watt kit has come from Renergy. Um, full disclosure, they've given me a load of kit to look after so I can uh, upgrade my van. So thank you very much, Renergy, very kind. So it comes with two boxes, each with two 100 watt panels in, and it is the mono crystalline versions, so they, that's the good ones. Uh, you can get them as a flexible panel, but I have chosen the rigid panels. I found flexible panels for me, have only ever lasted a year and I think it's because of the vibration of the van, my van and the, and the uh, shell that it breaks the uh, connections inside the panels and they stop working. So I've gone for rigid frame and when we come to install them I'll show you how I will do it and make sure that uh, uh, to, to make sure they don't fall off. So yes they'll be bonded but they'll also be screwed uh, and I won't be using a roof rack I'm going to do that straight to my roof at this point. We have the 40 amp Rover MPPT controller and we'll look into that in a little bit and it comes with a Bluetooth option so again I can monitor what is happening with my solar panels and my battery charging uh, from my phone in theory or the Renogy One uh, M1 uh, monitoring system which we'll look into later. There was also a package of kit as well here we'll go through this so there are some wire connectors to join the Par panels in parallel. We'll talk about a series of pa parallel a little bit later on. There is say inline fuse, which is a 10 amp inline fuse, which will go from the panels, input cables, through the fuse and into the controller. Very nice too. More wide contractors. There are some brackets for connecting to the roof for the panels and some nuts and some bolts uh, and I believe the holes are pre-drilled so that will make life a little bit easier so that's very good too and then we have some extended cables so the cables coming from the solar panels through the roof uh, and into this controller it will go via that tan fuse I showed you and into this unit and then from this unit we have more cables that go from the unit to the battery via the included 40 amp ANL fuse. And the, on the positive side, there is also a junction. So we go from the controller to the fuse and from the fuse to um, the battery. So quite a lot of kit. Um, it's all written down on their website. There is an, there is an install manual on the website. Uh, we'll find it, we'll see if there's, there's an install manual in this box somewhere. So let's just put this to one side. Now let's have a look at the controller first. So I'm going to open it up, nicely packed, cobble box, well, uh, well polystyrene. And here is the uh, manual for the MPPT controller, 20, 30 or 40 amps. There is a uh, contact sheet for support groups across the globe, the US, America, Canada, uh, Germany, Japan, Europe. There is a Bluetooth control module uh, manual as well. There is the Bluetooth unit um, to connect into the controller. There is a battery temperature sensor again to be connected. And we'll find that the box, in, within the box, the unit is secured by the polystyrene and wrapped in plastic. So nice and secure. Let's get this out, have a look. Um, so, quite heavy. I think it's about seven kilos. Uh, sorry, three kilos, seven pounds. Uh, again, secured to the, the bulkhead. A, Cooling vanes, all solid metal case, outdoors metal case, and a display screen and control buttons on the front here. The terminals for connecting the battery and the sensors are all along the bottom here. And there's also a connector for the uh, 
computer system which will go through the Ray or the uh, Renergy One top hat communication system. You have a load connector which normally runs when you just connect the solar panels and if the sun is coming in and you have the, run, the load running off this that's what normally you would do with that so that just runs when you're collecting gathering energy. There are the battery terminals and then there are the um, inputs from the solar panels itself. There are some lovely brackets to secure this to the bulkhead. So very nice, quite funky. I like this. We should come back to this in a minute. Right, let me move this lot out of the way. Let's have a look at the panels. So these are about six kilos, 14 pounds, so they're quite heavy. There's two of them in here. Uh, let's have a look. I've not checked these since they arrived, so let's hope they're not broken in delivery. Again, this is all delivered by courier. Uh, quite efficiently one day. I need to give some guy the help. Right, so let me lift these out. Oh. Right, so here we go with a uh, panel. Uh, there's two in that box. Uh, they've got some polystyrene corner pieces to make sure they are uh, secured or, or safe in transit. The aluminium doesn't break or, or get damaged. Nice and shiny. Um, quite heavy. Good feel, feel quality. There's a feel of quality around them. Let's have a look at this one. So here, as we can see, uh, the aluminium frame is quite thick and robust. There's no flexing in that whatsoever. That is a rigid flame. Uh, there are the connection cables fit at the back. There is a support leaflet for the various support groups around the globe and your e-warranty card. The e-warranty card, you use the QR code uh, and register your products. Renergy have given these uh, a lifespan of 25 years. So they're suggesting in their warranty uh, literature, uh, after 25 years, you would expect these to produce an 80% output. So that's pretty efficient. These have a long lifespan, so it's well worth registering them on your warranty card. The frame has some holes pre-built, pre frame has some holes pre-drilled, and the brackets uh, fit, depending on, on your requirements. They will bolt here like this, and you will, they will bolt here like this, and you will then secure the screws through the, the roof. So this is upside down, so that way, and they're secured here. So again, quite strong brackets, quite a large space as well. Uh, when we come to securing this in a later program, uh, I'll talk about the bonding that we we'll use and the, uh, the reasons why we would actually put a bolt in it. I know a lot of professionals don't, uh, but that's a debate for the next article. On the back here is a leaflet about the performance of this panel. So we know there are 100 watts each, there's four of them, 100 watts. Uh, and we know that the open voltage, open circuit voltage is 24.3 volts and the short circuit current is 5.21 amps. So what does that mean uh, and why is that important? It's only important when you are putting the panel, when you are putting a lot of panels together in an in array in a series where they connect from the positive to the negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, or when you put them in parallel where they are all joined at the positives and they're all joined at the negatives. So in both scenarios, there are uh, different, different calculations you need to be aware of. In series, you add the voltage. So this will be 24.3 volts plus this one. So that becomes um, 48.6 volts, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And so four panels is going to be 40, 98 volts or something thereabouts. Uh, I'm sure you, 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 you people that study maths will be able to give me the exact number, but it's 98, 98 volts. The maximum voltage that is available on this 40 amp controller is 100 volts. So four panels in series is below the uh, limit of this unit. If I was to put the panels in parallel, then 
at the 5.2 amps, that would become, that you would add them. So that would become 20.8 amps. And the maximum input for this is 43 amps. So we know that, that if we put the panels in parallel, we are within the tolerance of the unit. And if we put four panels in series, we are again in the, in the tolerance of this unit. So the question is, why would I, why do I care? Uh, and which way will I wire my panels? And my only advice is that in the hotter climbs, you might want to think about putting your pa panels in parallel because uh, if during the heat of the day you park in the shade or some of the shade, then as long as one or two of the panels are still in the sun, they'll be gathering energy uh, and you just lose the, uh, the input from the panels in the shade. If you were in series and you parked in the shade, uh, even just one little piece, then all of the arrays input to the controller here drops dramatically. If I was traveling around the equator into high temperature areas, I'd probably go in parallel so that I could park in the tree at lunchtime and have a nice cooler lunch. I live in the Northern Hemisphere, and when I was in the Southern Hemisphere, uh, I would have my panels in series, only because I don't have to worry too much about hiding in, in the shade at lunchtime. Um, but I need to get as much energy in throughout the whole duration of the day. And in series, the panels are more efficient at the beginning and the end of the day than a, a set of peri a par parallel panels. So that's what I would do. The warranty, for this unit is two years so that's good and the warranty for the other cables that we talked about earlier on all the fuses etc are one year so in terms of the cover that you've got from energy i think that's a, a good setup so okay so the other thing about these panels just so you're aware is the uh, dimensions they are 41 inches long uh 20 inches wide uh, a couple of inches high they're not very very high here so i'll write the metrics down below so we know exactly where we're going to go with them um, i will be able to get four of these on my roof without too much drama so we've talked about the panels and the sizing uh we've talked about the inverter controller controller and we've talked about our brackets and we've talked about all our cables and kit so this solar panel kit from Renergy um, isn't necessarily cheaper if you were to buy each individual component but it makes life very very easy so I'm looking forward to fitting this and hopefully you have subscribed again to make sure that you keep up with when I actually install it within my van uh, if there's anything more I can add about these open the boxes please let me know all of the kids are listed below in the comments underneath and I just say thank you very much for watching. This is Graham. Goodbye. Take care.